This is the Oxford Summer Courses Podcast, immersing you through a traditional Oxbridge student experience, giving you a helping hand on those hard to ask questions when it comes to your future. Welcome back to the Oxford Summer Courses Podcast. This week, we're going to be discussing about the most commonly asked university interview questions. You may be at the process of submitting your university application or about to submit it, and you've got this anticipation and excitement waiting for all of your offers to roll in. But before that happens, don't be surprised if you've been invited to attend a interview with an admissions tutor at the university that you've applied for. And being invited to a university interview is very common in the UK, especially for subjects that focus around healthcare or even the creative industries. But they are also an opportunity to select students for top universities like Oxford and Cambridge, which are extremely competitive. When students or even most accomplished people hear the word interview, it can fill them with a lot of doubt and dread, anxiety, you name it. But interviews don't need to be as nerve wracking as they seem. The whole idea behind university interviews, it becomes an effective way for universities to make sure that you're right for the subject. It's also there to help universities bring out the best of you and you'll excel and flourish while you're there. They want to make sure that you will actually thrive in the course that you've chosen, as well as the university helping you bring out the best of you. With that being said, it's also really important that you allocate enough time to prepare and practice for your upcoming interview. And I would say that this is what makes interviews feel really nerve wracking because Some people may not have left enough time for them to prepare. And this is why people dread the interview process because they don't feel ready. And if you haven't left enough time for yourself to prepare, these doubts start coming through. But of course, you're listening to the podcast. So clearly you are well prepared, showing the university why you should be here and why you are so passionate about the course you've chosen. With the correct help, you can absolutely go through your university interview feeling confident and ready to shine. To help you feel as prepared as possible, we've compiled a list of some of the most commonly asked university questions with tips on how to structure your answers to use on the day. Okay, so let's start by setting the scene of your interview. And one of the dreaded questions so many students worry about is, tell me about yourself. I mean, to this day, I hate that question as well because it can become fairly difficult to answer it, especially if you hate talking about yourself, about your interests and hobbies. But it is definitely a popular question that most universities will ask you. So now you're thinking, how do I answer this dreaded question? Our advice would be don't focus on just your academic interests. Of course, talk about it, but don't make that the highlight of your answer. Structure it in a way that you're keeping between three or four sentences and be prepared to add some examples to support what you're saying. So, for example, away from academia, let's say you enjoy volunteering or any sort of sports such as being part of a competing team or a league Those are things that universities want to hear about. They want to get to know you and what you do in your spare time. Let your passion shine with what you do outside of education. The next question that we have is, why do you want to study this course? When universities ask this question, they're looking to see if you have a genuine interest and passion for the subject that you've applied for and to ensure that you've chosen the right course for the right reasons. So here, universities are looking for you to talk about how the course will help you achieve your career goals, your enjoyment of the subject, either outside or inside school, or even both, if that is who you are. And the last thing that they'll be looking out for is how the course can help achieve your wider goals. Knowing the answer to this question is really important for universities because there are going to be a lot of people applying for the same course that you have. And they want to make sure that you are a genuine person that wants to study this course instead of giving it to someone 
that may not have the same passion as another student that's applying for the same exact course as you. Think about the process and how you came up with wanting to study the subject you've applied for. Maybe even recite some of your personal statement where you would have mentioned why you've chosen to study the course and how it would benefit you for your wider goals. What are you going to go and do with the degree once you've achieved it? These are the answers that universities will be looking out for. Once universities have a good idea about your future goals. Next, they'll probably ask the question about why you've decided to choose that particular university. Now, you probably already have a good reason as to why you want to study at that particular university. But if you're struggling for inspiration, some of the things that you could include in your answer could be the university's reputation. Do they offer any other facilities that are better for your course? Or maybe their teaching approach is what drew you into applying for the university. Do your research if you don't know why you've decided to choose that specific university. Go onto their website, find out what makes them unique and speak about this. So once the admissions team have an idea to why you want to go to their university, next they'll start asking about what you could bring to the university, why they should want you as a student. It is really important for you to be as honest as possible when you're answering the questions or an interviewer will definitely see straight through you. It will be worse to be caught out in your lie. When you're answering this question, interviewers are looking for you to support any ideas that you've suggested with examples from your previous experience. And if you're feeling a bit stuck with this, some things that you can discuss during your interview, as an example, is maybe any extracurricular interests. What can you bring maybe to their societies or a wider cultural scene? Remember, it doesn't have to be any sort of hobby or talent related. If you do something physical where you could get involved in planning events for societies or subject departments, that is something that they'll want to hear. Everyone has skills that they can contribute to the wider community, but really think about the skills that you have and things that you have done previously. Like we said at the beginning of the podcast, if you are someone who doesn't like talking about themselves, it's so difficult, but we don't want you to shy away from all of the accomplishments that you've achieved, either inside or outside of school. And the last thing that we would recommend as well to help answer this question is you can mention that you felt confident at contributing to class discussions and will be an active, engaged student that can bring great ideas to the table. Even if you think it's something small, it is definitely worth mentioning because you've gone out your way to go have this amazing accomplishment. So please do not shy away in what you've achieved so far. Now the interviewer has established your interest in the university and you've had the chance to sell yourself, the university might want you to start thinking about your future and what you want to do after you graduate. So this is the chance to share all the reasons why you're so passionate about studying that particular course at that particular institution. I know this might sound repetitive to the previous question that we discussed But here the interviewer is looking for you to share your dream career goals, express an interest in how you're going to contribute to the industry through your research or how you may be wanting to pursue any further academic study and become specialised in your subject field. Now following from that, universities will also want you to showcase your strengths as a student. Here they're trying to determine whether you have the skills to excel on their course. So if you are asked this question, make sure that you pick a strength that is applicable to the course that you've chosen. Prepare examples beforehand. Don't say that you're a confident presenter if the thought of standing up in front of a class of 30 makes you sweat with fear. Make sure you pick a skill and strength that is applicable to you. If you're still unsure why not try asking friends or family for ideas? An outsider opinion can definitely prompt your thinking and maybe they might suggest something that you never even thought was a strength that you had. Now that we've spoken about your strength, in contrast to that, universities will be keen to learn more about what you consider as your greatest weakness. 
They want to know that you're self-aware, critical, and are looking to learn lots and grow. And this question can be slightly more difficult to navigate around, especially because as humans, we so often hate talking about ourselves, and especially in negative light. These may be some of the things that you might consider while preparing for your interview. When you choose your weakness, make sure you choose it carefully. Don't say things like, you often miss deadlines as this will not bode well for the admissions officers or the person that is interviewing you. When you provide your answer, you have to remember that no one is perfect and they'll be expecting at least one thing that you believe is a weakness from you. And lastly, we would definitely suggest being honest again. Never tell white lies just to impress the interviewer as they will see right through you And once you lie, it's hard to take it back and it could jeopardise your interview if you're caught out on your lie. Now, for students who are applying to universities of Oxford and Cambridge, you should be prepared to delve into conversations around wider reading in relation to your subject. These interviews are designed to test your critical thinking skills and see if you'll benefit from the tutorial teaching methods that they have at Oxford and Cambridge. This is a way to shape you as a learner. It's impossible to know exactly what they'll ask about in this context, so make sure you do as much wider reading as possible ahead of your interview. So what we would suggest is that you select books that are relevant to your skills or the subject for the future. Be prepared to recall any synopsis or quotes. Try and memorise one line that really resonates with you. And Be honest, again, admission tutors are very well read. They'll be able to see any white lies that you are saying. Now, as we come to the end of our podcast, let's take a look at the final question that we have on our list. And our final question is possibly one of the most self-reflective, but one of the most commonly asked question, which is, why should we offer you a place? Not only is this question incredibly difficult to answer for those who hate talking about themselves and their achievements, but it's also dependent on all the other conversations that you've had during this interview. And the best way to approach this question is to recap everything that you've already highlighted, remind them of all the reasons why you're so great, ignore any weaknesses So this question demands a discussion on your strength as a character and all the great things that you could bring to the university. And it is really the last chance for you to really, really sell yourself to the interviewer as to why you should be at this institution studying this subject. And once you've done that, that is a mic drop moment. To summarise what we've spoken about today, remember to be authentic and honest. It goes a long way and as daunting as these university interview questions may seem, with enough preparation and practice you'll have the confidence to walk into any interview ready to answer whatever comes your way. Your university interviews are honestly a great opportunity for you to get to know the tutors as well and Also for you as a student to ensure that you're making the right choice in terms of both subject and university location. Please try not to put too much pressure on yourself because as long as you can demonstrate your passion for learning your subject as well as the knowledge about the university and subject field as a whole, you'll come across as a well-rounded student with the potential to thrive on their course. Thank you so much to everyone listening today and I really hope you found that helpful and if you feel inspired by today's podcast and are applying to university soon or maybe you've already got your interview booked, why not take a look at our summer courses? We offer an authentic slice of student experience here in Oxford and Cambridge. You'll build on valuable skills, experience and subject knowledge to add to your university application and future CV. So that is sadly the end of season one. I just want to take some time and thank everybody for tuning in and supporting us, listening to our podcast from day one. And we really hope that these podcasts have 
helped you develop skills which you were maybe struggling in or you're finding difficult to get your head around. So I really hope these have been really helpful and that you'll go on to succeed and achieve your future ambitions. If you want to stay in touch, then follow us on socials at Oxford Summer Courses, where we post advice and help for students at whatever stages they are currently at. But ultimately, we hope we see you again soon. Thank you again. That's a wrap.